Alright, time for a Mundo Beginner's Guide. I am against a Gwen, which should be a decent matchup for me, really. So, yeah. Mundo is a pretty solid pick, very strong pick against a bunch of APs on the enemy team, as you can see right here. A double, a triple AP in topside, plus like Nautilus AP damage. And Ezreal does some as well. So it will overall be a very solid pick. And uh, yeah, that's why I picked Mundo here. If you want to like counter a bunch of AP, Mundo is a very solid pick to uh, just get. Now starting off here, I'm just going to start topside. I don't care if I get the leash or not. Mundo is one of those champions that will just do a really good job regardless. So that's not going to be a problem. I'm going to try to clear towards bot. Because I don't think top's going to be a gank for me. Simply due to Zeri just like having the range advantage over Cho'Gath. And probably is just going to push him out. So I just want to like try to look for something bot lane. I highly doubt I'm going to get any ganks here though. But the reason I'm going to start top and repeat clear to bot. Is because this will allow me to set up my clear properly for the dragon later on. So that's why I'm doing this now. And maybe, who knows, maybe the Caitlyn gets pushed in or something. That would be nice. I start Cleaver here because it does the most damage, especially on like max HP. So the lower HP it gets, the less damage Cleaver does. Pretty nice leash actually from Zeri right there. So I'm going to save my Cleaver right here and just hit it on this camp instead. There you go. Tie this down. Good. The big wolf. Now your smite, you can you kind of use that whenever. Um, you can use it early. As long as you don't use it when it gets past like three quarters of the recharge bar, you're good. Because that way you're not losing time. That should die. There we go. Take the W. Throw the Q on this. I messed up the small one hit there. You want to hit one small one through the camp and I... I apparently clicked the wrong one, so I'm going to lose some time now. Yeah, it's a little bit slow. Okay, fine. I'll just smite here um, to get the smite, because it was about to time over the cooldown. There we go. It's a pretty decent pace. Small ones there. Bot lane is also pushed in, so I'm not gonna get a gank off here. Top lane is actually not pushing as hard as I thought it would, so that could have been a better gank. Yeah, I lost a couple of seconds, but it's still pre-15. Or pre-3-15, uh, pre sorry. Should be good to get the scuttle here. Gwen's clear should be quite a bit slower. There she is. I'm actually instantly popping Ghost, actually. Because this allows me to just full-on chase her. Ah, uh, okay, well. Damn, that's on me. I actually thought I could kill the Gwen there. I went a little bit too aggressive. Uh, the eight, uh, yeah, I, I didn't take the Ignite into account. I just went a little too aggressive on that one. I generally thought I could just snipe out the Gwen from the damage hit, but I forgot, I uh, mainly forgot about her W, giving her those extra resistances, which is where I heavily messed up on. Because those extra resistances allowed her to like instantly live, essentially, because I wouldn't do enough damage. And so that is a pretty significant mistake on my end for trying to execute her there due to the W resistances. Because if I just kill her there, I just get the triumph proc, I should be able to walk out, Katarina will be able to back me up, and then we should be good. So that is, that is on me, for sure. Get this down. I see your bot side here. 21 CS. There's a very like high likelihood that this camp's gonna be up soon or it's gonna be spawning soon. Ooh, is Katarina gonna die? Gwen's gonna show up here as well. Ah, that's bad. I'm probably dead here. Okay, maybe not. I can hit the slow. Nope, still dead. Okay, well, it is what it is. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, going for Sunfire here. I want to go Sunfire because I want to just have the damage from it. 
The mid lane fight didn't really go that well there. The Katarina lost quite a significant amount of HP before I actually got there. I know Gwen was coming, but I was really hoping to like get the Silas beforehand in that situation. Didn't end up going that way. I mean, this is current. My current position is my own, like mainly my own mistake for trying to dive a Gwen here where I shouldn't have. Like I would have been completely fine not doing that. So it's okay. I don't mind falling behind a little bit like this because it's just a little bit better than me just heart stomping. I think should be fine. A uh, good chance that Gwen actually goes for the dragon here. I'd be curious to see if she does. Make sure to... Yeah, she does do the dragon there. Okay, fair enough. So she went for dragon means she didn't go for a topside camp. So I can take those. 35 seconds on my blue, which means it's about 35 seconds on her uh, red buff as well. Seeing as she, how she started topside. Let's mark this. Wave has passed in this situation, so the wave has passed here as well, so I can walk past to uh, get the hit this camp. I don't want to smite here in case I want to go for that red buff. She is walking to her top side now. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the red buff because the Katarina has no pressure in mid lane and the Silas does. So taking these two camps should be my like consolation prize essentially. Because this red is not going to be achievable for me right now. Joe would collapse, Silas would collapse, I would lose. And I'd have a recreation of the situation I did there. Let's get this down. Make sure to ping that the Gwen is like topside somewhere. I wonder if she wins that. Ignite. One more Q, one more hit, one more... Yep, there he goes. Beautiful stuff. Gwen is right there. It's fine. So I took two camps to punish her for taking Dragon, and I should be able to clean my bot side up now as well. Red's gonna spawn. This should create some, like, winning tempo for me again. Ooh, she lost that. Interesting. There you go. The pace in your camps that's very essential especially if you make a mistake like i just did you cannot drop this the, the clear speed you have my own mistake essentially cost me that dragon because if i would have just done it like reset there like after like forcing gwen out and then reset and then just like do another full clear into a dragon that would not have gone wrong interesting It's kind of hard to gank anything here. That's a big level 6 right there. I'm gonna get this guy. I want to get the assist. I at least got the cleaver hidden. That's good. Uh, I think her blue should be up. Yes, it is. She should be topside, I think. I'm gonna hit this so I can see if she's actually moving for the blue. She's not... Should be able to take her Gromp as well then. I'll have my ult to walk away if I have to. Her bot lane shouldn't be able... Oh, she did Rift Herald. Okay, fine. She is one of those that just goes for the objective. Saw me bot lane went for Rift Herald. That's fine. So that means I have to punish now and take her Wolves as well. I'm losing some objectives here. Which is fine if that happens. She is losing a pretty significant amount of time as well. You don't forget about that. Okay, let's see if I go mid here. She doesn't dive. Oh, whoa. She actually outplayed him. She won. Super good. Wards. I really want to go for the bot gank, but it's going to take a while. Zeri died. Get the bot scuttle at least. Can wait for my bot lane to return potentially. I want to stand underneath here. Walk it up. I'm going to like... I really want to wait for my bot lane to return. I'm going to lose a lot on top here. That, that turret's gone. But I ideally want to get the bot, bot lane gank off here to kind of trade a little bit. Alright, we're walking in now. They do see me, but it shouldn't matter. Can't get CC'd. That's built. Oh, 
Oh. Okay. I got a little... I think I got hit by the ult, maybe, still. I got a little bit more chunk than I wanted to. This is a very nice room from Katarina, helping me out in that situation. That should be a dead Gwen. Beautiful. Alright, nice. That's a good assist for my team on that one. Uh, that bot lane gank right there was pretty much just set up from the start, because that bot lane was gonna push out. And my bot lane comes back to back to the lane. I have a good position on that. I just wait around for a little bit, get the gank off, and we should be good. I'm a back in a very good spot now. I need to spend my gold, though. Oh, boy. I don't have any pings anymore. Uh, we need... I'm gonna go Mercs. I don't... There is no use for me... Okay, I, I wanted to ping more, but... Hopefully, this doesn't end up badly for my Seraphine. It does. Oh, Caitlyn flashed into him in melee range as well. I wanted to back spam ping this, but I had no more pings, so... It was very obvious he's running down since he hit the plant. If Katarina wins this, that'd be great, but I haven't... I have doubts. Yeah, she just dies there. We lose another dragon. That is not the play I was hoping to see for my bot lane right there. I can't fight this. Now that, that dragon's gone. They didn't see the uh, Silas hit them, hit the um, plant there, which actually just killed them instantly, because then he got the rotation on it. That's I'm not standing for that. Like he can't blame the Katarina for him not paying attention to his mini map. Alright, his red spawning, I definitely want to take that. Take his top side here. Need to make sure I keep repeat punishing him as much as possible. I'm, I'm not gonna sit there and let the uh, Caitlyn flame the Katarina for her not having like any map awareness essentially, because that's all that came down to. You saw the plant on the minimap, you can go uh, look back at it if you want. You saw the plant on the minimap hit the, um, hit the vision. I'm gonna ghost here. I'm gonna go for Gwen. She is my easiest kill. I say that, but Jesus Christ, my guy. I don't know why. I don't know why she didn't help me. The true damage from Gwen there was way too much, apparently. Holy moly. What a champion. I did not expect to lose it that hard. I really think if we just hard focus Gwen, because Gwen is like the easiest kill out of the both of them, realistically. Because you just burst her out. Even with that W, like, she's easier to kill than the Silas due to that not having that W stuff. Uh, if the Katarina would just help me burst her out, she would have died for sure. I lost blue to Cho'Gath, yep, I did. Blade of the Rune King, interesting. Is that the way you build Katarina these days? I suppose it should be. Uh, Seraphine's definitely dead here. I think the Caitlyn's gonna get engaged on based on Seraphine being top lane here, so I can definitely like look to uh, help bot here. I don't know if he actually warded or not. We'll see. Are they gonna walk back right away? If they walk up here, this is not warded. If they walk back, yep, it's warded. Okay. Gwen is also bot lane. We are in trouble this game, I will say. Losing the second dragon the way we did was bad for us. Put this down, go bot here. Prevent this dive from happening. There she is. Oh my god, turn up. I don't really get... He's got a kill. Yep. It was a very obvious dive. Alright. I don't think... If my Katarina just ha gets here, we should be fine. 
As long as she doesn't mess up and don't doesn't kill him. Hello, Katarina. Are you serious right now? She actually did not get that. She might be able to get the double kill still. How did she not get that Silas? <laughs> that is very unfortunate, actually. Mm, I need more magic resist for sure. But that, I'm so surprised that she didn't kill that Silas right there. That That is interesting. Very interesting. We need this dragon. I hope her blue is up. That would be great. Oh. I hit him again. Where is the Sarah ult? Beautiful. Let's get Dragon. Alright, oh, they got this Diaz rule, okay. Oh! Hold. Chase the fight out for this guy. Nice, good. Go back to the Dragon. We're looking solid here. I have 123 CS compared to her 90. Just making up for some stuff. I definitely messed up my early game, 100%. I shouldn't have been in this position if I would have just played a little bit smarter. But, should be fine. I'm gonna back as fast as I can, get the Spirit Visage. And this Rift Herald hopefully doesn't get a bounce, but I think it will. Yeah, it's gonna get a bounce, that's very annoying. Well, damn. Actually, it's be it'd be good if he gets the... Uh... If he gets the inhibitor. Because getting the inhibitor there actually perma pushes top lane, which allows Zeri to free farm for a while. Because the wave would never really get like anywhere up there. Yeah, we won the bot play at the cost of our top inhibitor, essentially. Which isn't great, of course. But it's definitely not bad either. Our overall, like we, I think we overall outskilled them as long as we get the Gwen out of the fight later because Gwen is a big problem, but they also are full AP. So for me, if I get like a magic resist item, get some HP, I will be in a very good spot and very difficult to kill for them at least. So the scaling aspect's gonna come in here. She has a red buff. I'm gonna assume that because she has red buff, this is all down. But I'll check anyway. Okay. This is not bad, actually. That's good. That was a very nice Seraphine ultimate. Team's gonna get that. I'm gonna go for top scuttle here. I don't think there's gonna be too much of a problem. The red's definitely done. Get this scuttle real quick. Walk back to the team. Katarina gets hooked. They are playing extremely aggressive for this situation. Just gotta wait here, I suppose. Zeri has the proper idea here. Ezreal went bolt all the way. I'm gonna clear this Gromp and then just walk to bot back through bot lane. That is a blue buff. Can I take it is the better question though. I'll try. I th I'm confident enough that I can tank a bunch of, a bunch of stuff to run. So I have Mundo passive. Got it. Beautiful. If he chases me, my team should be able to follow me up. So I don't think it's gonna be that much of a problem. I keep, like, what I'm doing here is whenever I have the chance, I'm still taking her camps. So she doesn't, like, snowball away the lead completely when I gave her the early game, essentially. Because I did, like, I gave her the early game for sure. Making sure to ping out the Silas. This is not good. Ah, uh, my god.
Okay, play it slow. We're making sure to zone out the S rule from the entire fight. I'm standing in a position there where the Ezreal, Ezreal can't walk in and I could just cut him off. Let me see if this guy is right here. Make sure he doesn't get over the wall. Beautiful. That positioning right there was very important. I'm making sure that I like zone out the Ezreal, make sure he doesn't get to do any damage in that fight whilst like tanking him at the same time. That way, uh, my Caitlyn gets to do more free damage throughout that entire fight, essentially, and allowing my team to to just, like, overtake that for that specific situation. So, yeah, standing here to hold the Ezreal off and then allow my Kate to hit, trying to slow people at the mean in the meantime for her is, like, the ideal situation. Now, against that team, the um, Gwen has a lot of true damage, so... HP is going to be a very good stat to get right now. I'm thinking I'm going to go Warmogs next because of that. It's also going to give me the extra side healing. So I'd be able to do something with that later on as well. 19 seconds on Dragon. I think we can fight this. I will not have Ghost for this though, but I think it's still fightable. I need to take over some, uh, some areas here. Oh my god. That's gonna be bad. Actually, she gets out. If Silas dies here, this would be great for us. Nice. Be aggressive right now. Turn on your ult. Just be aggressive. Make sure to tank the frontline for your team. Execute low targets or low HP targets. And this way you take over. You have to make sure that as Mundo, like as the tank, you play as aggressive as possible. And walk forward to try to soak as much damage as you can. Your damage might not be as high, but being up there in the front line is very crucial to um, to make sure that you essentially. Oh, oh, that's a juke. Ooh, that must feel bad. But yeah, being up there in the front line is what what wins you those situations. Okay, well that's a rip on Katarina's end, really. Now let's get executed as well. I don't know if the Kate should go for that red buff actually. Probably not. Hmm. Alcho didn't really get anywhere with his top push, so that's good. Uh, Kate is not going for the red buff, okay. I currently make sure that I keep just taking camps. Which is very crucial. Make sure that I keep my experience lead going as much as possible. Because as you can see, I'm nearly three levels up on Gwen. Just by rotating through my camps the entire time. Also, I have Warmox now alongside Spirit Visit. So I'm going to have a good amount of healing. I'm going to be very hard to kill. The extra HP stat that I stack with Warmox here is especially good against uh, true damage from Gwen and Cho'Gath. So more HP means they're going to have more difficult time to kill me. So true damage is not going to be as effective. If I stack more resistances against true damage, that's obviously going to be a bad idea because it's going to go through that right away. So that's why we're stacking HP, getting uh, this Warmox. They're also pretty much full AP. The more HP you have against AP champions, because they have less consistent damage overall, the better it is. I lost that cannon to the Kate auto attack. We're going to go this way. Hopefully the plant is up, but if it's not, that's fine. I'm gonna go this way. That's not gonna hit me for passive. This is fine. They can hit me all they want. I'm gonna ult early because I don't want to get wrecked by his um, true damage ult. Stay on top of him. Stay ahead of him the entire time. Make sure to proc my uh, sunfire on him the entire time as well. Make sure to tank for my team here because we're going aggressive on turret. I want to make sure here that I don't drop turret aggro so my team can just walk through and then we Baron. That's your job, right? What I just did is your job as Mundo. If you're playing a tank, you want to be the one tanking turret, going in first, soaking damage. Uh, I ulted a little early there because your ult gets better the lower HP you get. But I don't want to get low HP against the true damage Ch Cho'Gath ultimate because that just sounds like a really painful place to be. He just chunks me out from like 12 to... 1300 damage or whatever it is and I just die so that definitely doesn't sound like something I want to be doing Sunfire does good damage here that doesn't hit me so he wasted his Nautilus ultimate
spend your gold before you do stupid things. Now, the thing here is, and think I want you to note with Mundo as well, Thornmail is not that great of an item on Mundo, but the healing reduction is going to be nice still against this team. The reason Thornmail is not that great is because Mundo does not have any immobilizing effects on champions, so you're never going to get the 60% Grievous Wounds. You're always going to be stuck at 40. It's still going to be a good item here as my main armor item because it gets healing reduction. Even if it's not 6, it's still 40, so it'd still be pretty good. There aren't really any... Um, options to supplement okay well this is just okay she's out that champion is just yeah okay cool there aren't really any options to um do any other healing reduction item like you could go nah it, it just doesn't even make any sense you definitely want to go thorn mill still even though it's a little bit less effective on mundo no my team is trolling i'm gonna go for the show here i don't think i would be able to help the katarina with based on how far up she is I wanted to really badly hit level 16 because it's actually a giant power spike to still get. That's actually, like, that Caitlyn trap that he walked into right there is bad for him. We should be able to do this. All I have to do is just walk up. That is interesting how I got the turret aggro off that one. I wasn't prepared for that one. I can definitely dive this if I want to. I'm just gonna keep walking forward. Very nice. Zeri play. I saw the Kate ult the Nautilus, so I don't hit the Nautilus anymore because I don't care about the kill. Just gonna keep tanking turret whilst I hit it. I don't have to worry about anything here. And all these fights I've just won by simply like playing aggressive enough. So my Kate gets to do damage. My Katarina gets to jump in and uh, have the zoning potential at the same time as well. They wanna go for the bot lane play, so we're gonna commit to the bot lane play. Got the choke gap down here. He's dead. And yeah, you're never gonna be the one dealing the damage. Like, you're gonna do a decent amount of damage, but it's never gonna be mainly you as damage. I'm making sure to take whatever turret aggro I can right now, so my team gets to, like, dive and play aggressive on these people. Hold the turret aggro the entire time. It doesn't matter, because I have the Warmox as well, so I drop the, the aggro from the fight right here. And then wait out Warmox healing. Because as you can see, my healing goes up to, like, nearly 300 a second. And we're back to full HP. And then we do the same thing again. We just walk up and take turret aggro if we have to. And there we go. That should be game. So yeah, that's it for Mundo. Even though I did mess up the early game by going too aggressive. Uh, this is how you play it through. This is how you play team fights. And yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button below. Helps me out quite a bit. If you'd like to see more videos from me in the future, hit the subscribe button as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. All right, so let's look at the stats together as well. We did 21.2k damage, which is a very reasonable amount for Mundo. I'm building full tank, so doing like this amount of damage is still very solid. Very much on par with the rest of my teammates. Uh, the main stat I will show later on is going to be for damage taken. Uh, we have 1100 true damage, which is just smite. The smite that I use to essentially get the approach velocity procs as well to be able to stick the targets even better. Like fleet approach velocity is going to be extremely good combination alongside cleavers to just be on top of people the entire time with ghost as well. And the reason you want to be on top of people all the time is because of sunfire, because it allows you to get that emulate stack off and just do a, sh like a serious amount of damage. So this is like a lot of this damage is probably Sunfire damage as well. We have damage to objectives at 20.2k. Healing done at 27.4k, which is pretty solid. And then damage taken here, which is my main role as Mundo as playing a tank. I have 42.2k damage taken, which is more than double the rest of my team essentially. I mean, Katarina just took a bunch for like running it in, but yeah, that is what it is. This is that team fight dominance. Like this is asserting yourself in those team fights to making sure that you are the one taking turret aggro, you are the one taking damage up front, and you utilizing your ultimate as much as possible, essentially. And uh, gold earned, I suppose, at 13.8k. So yeah.